Good evening, everyone, and we are here with Mike Douglas from the Mississauga Arts, Arts Council. We are here at the 2022 Colors of Love International Concert. What a blessing to be here. After two years of being in lockdown, what did you do to keep yourself sane? How did you utilize the performing arts and specifically music to get yourself through the pandemic? Well, I'm in a really lucky position. We operate an arts council, which is a charity, and the federal government and the provincial government really stepped up to the plate. They provided us with funds we'd never seen before, and so we were able to turn that into grants to musicians to create music videos, to uh, create a whole series of online concerts, and to invest in artists' dreams and hopes and projects. We've put in probably close to $250,000 right into artist pockets in the last two and a half years. So it's one of the most gratifying periods of my life as a professional. And it was dur during a pandemic when things were so bad. But when you have an opportunity to make a difference and do something good, it uh, salves a lot of wounds and it enables you to feel terrific about what you're able to do for others. So we were able to employ artists uh, in a big way for the last two and a half years. That is amazing and what a great contribution. As you said, during the pandemic, when things were crashing, you had the ability to provide and to support, yes. right? So that is so important. And this evening we look, we see all the guests that are coming into the building and it's ec I'm ecstatic to see everyone being here and wanting to take part of this event tonight. If you were to do or to be any two things in this world or to do anything, what would those two things be? Well, if I may, I would like to just give quick credit to the founder of this event, Maggie Habita. Her dream is so infectious, her heart is so big, and her capacity to love is so uh, appealing that it makes it a wonderful occasion for people to support this and be a part of it. So congratulations to Maggie and people like yourself Thank for you. making it happen. And if I could be anyone in the world, I think I'd be a younger, smarter version of myself at this point so I could learn from all the mistakes I've made. Yes, I love that one. I love that. And I love the fact that we're all here pouring into Maggie and recognizing the job well done that she's doing and encouraging her to keep the momentum going. So thank you for those kind words on behalf of Maggie. Thank you. Thank you.